the symbols of Northern Ireland's historical troubles and the residual risk of further violence are plain to see. The peace walls dividing opposing communities and the murals still demanding justice. As the arrest and detention of Sinn Féin leader Gerry Adams over a 1972 IRA murder revealed, the victims are still hungry for justice. But so far, they've been denied that by political squabbles. Victims Commissioner Catherine Stone is about to send new proposals to the First Minister and his deputy. I think where we are now and the events of the past week show us that there is a momentum that is building to the urgency of how we deal with the past here and how unless we deal with the past it will continue to infect and poison the present and the future. We must deliver these things to victims. In the absence of an agreed alternative way for helping the victims, it will be left to the police to pursue individual cases, running all the risks of a fresh rupture in the peace, as illustrated by Gerry Adams' detention. Before Mr Adams' release on accusations he denies, Sinn Féin and unionist politicians traded insults over alleged bias policing. Many at Stormont believe it's becoming increasingly urgent to concentrate on the victims. What is clear is that we certainly achieved a political settlement. We did not achieve reconciliation and we have not achieved yet truth and justice for the victims. Previous efforts to achieve justice have failed. The fallout from Mr Adams' arrest might give the latest move fresh impetus. Tim Friend, Al Jazeera, Belfast.